Well, hi ho Stampers, Deb Velder here. Welcome back to my studio today. I've been wanting to do this project for you for a long time and I'm finally getting around to doing it. It's not just a card, it's not just a portfolio, but it's a portfolio um, in a card. So what do I mean by that? It has some 3D elements to it. This little, this little card right here, when you take and you pull on the little bow right here, it opens up so you still have your card, but you also have this amazing little portfolio. And when you undo the portfolio, you're going to open it once to see a message and two times to see your, your um, pictures on the inside. Isn't that adorable? So the first thing I'm going to do is bring in my card base and my trimmer that also has a scoring blade on it. And this is an, uh, a five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of cardstock. Now, normally you would score it at four and a quarter, but we need a double spline on it. And what do I mean by that? Well, if we take this right here, whoops, if we take this right here, it's got a, a spline, okay? It's not just folded over. And we need that so that we have this 3D element right here, okay? So instead of doing it four and a quarter, we're going to do it at four and one eighth. So there's my four and one eighth. Make sure you take off your cutter and you only have your scoring blade on there. And I'm going to score here. And then I'm going to go over to four and three eighths and I'm going to score again. All right. So that's our first measurements. Now what we have to do is to get this little square right here so that we can make our X in the middle. Now what I strongly, strongly recommend is that you take and uh, make yourself a template. Let me show you what I mean by that. This is five and a half, because that's that's the normal width of, or length of it. But on the um, measurements from side to side, instead of being four and a quarter, remember we went over to this line right here. So this is only four and one eighths inches wide. I took a pencil and I just took my template. So this is the first, this is the first template, lining it up. I just made a pencil mark all the way around. Then I took my next one, which is, this is the, the, this right here, this line right here, is the outer part right here. And I just went in a quarter of an inch. Okay, so there's a quarter of an inch difference right there. So my second set of lines are these right here. All right, the next thing I did was to score it. And what I did was I just followed the score, score marks. All right, so I laid it down here like this. I lined up my little pointer here, and you can use your score pal if you if you prefer. Um, and then I just stopped at this line right here. I went all the way down till I got to this line right here. I moved it in. That's why having a template and doing it with um, pencil, it just, to me, it makes it so much easier. We're gonna start here and go up to this line right here. You're gonna do that all the way around, okay? So you're gonna score here, and then you're gonna move it over a quarter of an inch and you're just gonna score here. When you're all done, you have these score marks to make your square. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my cutting blade back on and I'm going to make my X. So what I did was I literally took a ruler and I X'd it out with a um, pencil and I just lined up these little score marks just like this and I, I cut it up and I cut it back. Now what I like to do is stop short of here and here and then just take my scissors, if I can find them, here they are. What I do is I just take my scissors and I finish up to that line right there because you want to make sure it gets right to this little this um, uh, corner right here, to this little corner right here. That's very, very important. All right, so now once we have that all done, we're going to start folding. So let's take and fold our... marks here first okay so we're going to score our spline first using a, a good bone folder or a crease tool okay and what I'm doing is just lining up it's very important that you get good creases on this because um, it's going to make a difference so when I open up the spline to make it flat like this these edges right here match, these edges right here match. But remember, this isn't a true four and a quarter anymore. I believe it is just four inches. You go from side to side. It is about, no, it's four and an eighth, okay? Because we did this um, little spline right here, and that's a quarter of an inch, okay? So we took an eighth of an inch off the back and an eighth of an inch off the front. So now we have 
all of these are scored and this we have this little um this little x in the middle so the first thing that you want to do is you want to take this and push it to the inside like that okay we're going to bone fold that using your crease tool i have a little hiccup right here so let's just take and trim that off All right, and then we're gonna take, so we still have this little flap on here, okay? It's just pushed to the back. And we're gonna take this one, do the same thing all the way around. We're just gonna take and push these outer ones all the way to the back. We're gonna use our crease tool to make sure that they are nice and flat. All right, now we're gonna push the bottom um, crease this crease right here, we're gonna to push to the front. So we're just gonna take each one of these and push them to the front. And what this is doing is making a little well, okay? So that your little your little portfolio can sit inside that well, just like this, all right? So when you're all done, that's what it looks like, okay? When you push this in like this, and our little, our little paper will, uh, our little paper will take in a, We'll hold that down, okay? So here we are, there's our card, all right? But before we start gluing anything together, we do need to stamp the outside of it here, all right? So let me just grab a post-it note, put my post-it note right here. And the reason I do that is because I don't want anything going on the back end of it. There we go. Alrighty, now let's take and start putting the, the portfolio or the card part of it together. Now what we're going to do is just kind of, like I said, push these in so that they're nice and even and so that your walls are going straight up and down. The next thing that we're going to do is to take our cardstock and we're going to use it as a brace. Alright, so this is going to go right inside here like this. Whoops. There we go. Okay, so what we need to do is to add some adhesive to the back end of this. And we're just gonna add just on these triangles right here. Alrighty, now we're gonna take that piece of paper and we're just gonna slide it right in here. Okay, we just have to hold it for just a second, just to get it to, to stick, okay? There we go. Nice and flat. And what that does is it kind of shores up the, the walls of this right here. Just like that, okay? So here's the outside of it. Now what we need to do is to do the inside of it. There we go, good. All right, and add this right here to the back end of that. Okay. So now we literally glued the back piece to the inside piece. Okay. So there's that part of it right there. That's ready for our little portfolio, which will fit nicely right inside here like this. And I always like to, to give it a little test. It's gonna be a little bit snug at first until you start you know, moving it in and out and in and out. All right, so right now that looks awesome. Now what we have to do is to take and add our two layering pieces, one to each side. And I like to do this to make them match and to kind of, sh kind of hide all that, that little goopy stuff. All right, so I'm just gonna add some more adhesive to this part right here, because that's the only place that we're gonna have adhesive on the back end of it. All right, and what I'm doing is just centering it side to side, up and down, just as if it was a layer like this one's gonna be. Okay, so there's that. You can even turn it over and there we go. All right, so that's gonna dry. And now we're gonna match this one to the other side.
There we go. So these all match, okay? Now we're gonna take our white piece of cardstock and add it to it. All right, so now we literally have our portfolio done. Isn't that so pretty? We're gonna set that aside. And now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make our little portfolio to go inside. This is a six and a half by seven and seven eighths inch piece of cardstock. Now again, you're gonna need your um, trimmer, okay? And this is kind of neat the way I do this and you don't have to do it this way, but I just like doing it because um, it, it kind of, um, lessens the, the workload I think so this right here like I said is um, a six and a half by seven and seven eighths piece of piece of cardstock now when you go to score this okay the first thing I do is score the the um, middle of this okay so that um, is at uh, three and a half uh, three and a quarter this is at three and a quarter because it's half of the six and a half all right so you're just gonna put one score mark down the middle I always like to fold it so you, just, you know where the fold is now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it this way and I'm gonna start my cutting and scoring. Now you'll notice that I have the cutting blade on and I also have the scoring blade on. So that's why I like using a trimmer over um, using the score pal because I can do both of these at the same time. So what I do is I'm gonna line this up, okay, at the, the uh, two and a half and um, I'm gonna just cut down to that line right down here. So I'm gonna to cut to here and then I'm gonna score from that middle line down. I'm gonna go over a quarter of an inch, okay? We're gonna go over to the two and three quarters and we're gonna cut down to the middle and then we're gonna score up to the middle, okay? Now, you'll also notice that this one is larger than this one and I didn't make a mistake, that's on purpose. I'll show you why in just a second. So we're gonna go over to the five and a quarter and five and three eighths. Again, you're gonna cut down to here. You're gonna score up to here. You're gonna go over that eighth of an inch, okay? So you're gonna go to five and three eighths, cut down, score up. So now we have all of these pieces done. We can put our trimmer away and we're gonna trim off this little piece right here. And I'm gonna show you why we need to have this line smaller than this line, okay? Can anybody guess? All right, so now we have this looking like this. This is gonna go over like this. This is gonna go over like this. We're gonna cut these um, out for our pictures or we can just lay our pictures right on top. Um, but what we're gonna do, the reason this is smaller is because that goes in first and then this one has to be a little bit bigger so that it goes over two layers, okay? So that is the reason why we have um, the differences in um, these little mark or these little pieces right here, okay? So now you can do one of two things. You can either um, cut, cut out your pieces or you can take, and I do that with rectangles. I just take my rectangle die and now remember, okay, remember, remember that this is too wide to sit, stick into a regular machine. So if you're using um, uh, just a, a regular die cutting machine, okay, you're gonna line this up. I usually take some of my, um, my tape right here and just hold it in place like this, close this up and then run it through my die cutting machine, all right? And I'm gonna do that three different times. You can also just take and mount your pictures like this, but I like giving it that framed look. So what I did was I took all three of my, um, my, my pieces and I cut them. So this I die cut, like I, like I told you, I just laid it on there, I closed it up and ran it through the die cutting machine, all right? So now I have all three of these. Now what I need to do is to add my pictures. So I have one, two, and three, okay? And we're gonna add those with some of our adhesive. Okay, so now I have my pictures lined up and ready to go. So now what I need to do is to add my little, my little frames. My 
it right down. Now I want to be very meticulous about this. We want to make sure that it all lines up nice and straight. Now what I'm going to do is to take a couple of these little clothes pins because they're way too big for cards. Okay. And we're just going to lay them on there while this dries. It takes just a few seconds for it to dry. All right. And then we'll go to the next one. Now just double check and make sure that you've got all of your pieces glued down nice and even. Okay, just like that. It takes that, that short amount of time to, to glue, really. It's awesome. Okay, and then we're going to take and make sure everything is lined up nice and perfect. Okay, we want to make sure that all of these are lined up nice and perfect. And... Fold these over. There. Isn't that beautiful? Look at how nice and even. If you take a little time, make sure everything is all squared off, all right? Then it's all going to come out just beautiful when you're ready to, to put it all together, all right? So I just take a little bit of extra time, make sure everything is all squared off and you're good to go. All right, so here we have that. The next thing that we need to do is to add our um, ribbon. So grab your ribbon. I think there's about, I don't know, 12 inches there, 18 inches, I'm not sure. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit of adhesive and just put it right there. And then just fold this right in half. And that half goes right here at the end. Okay, now you'll notice we only put adhesive on the front of it. We don't want to put it on the back because nothing's going to be covering the back, you see? But the front is going to be covered by this little guy right here. All right. And that's going to go right over here on the top. So the next thing that we're going to do is add this little piece of paper right here. So in this one, we went from the front piece to the inside. And this one was a Mother's Day. Okay. And we're going to add this piece right here all right all right so let's tie this in a pretty little bow now the reason i left the the little chair off to the side a bit is because i knew my bow was going to be over here and i didn't want the bow kind of in the way of the chair all right let's take our scissors and just cut these off i will probably cut a little bit more of them off like that but for right now there's our little package or our portfolio, all right? I kind of manipulated a little bit, just making it all squared up and ready to go. And that should fit right inside here. Now, remember this was our little, um, our little portfolio here. We got that all done, except we're missing one little piece. And that's the piece that goes inside right here. So to go along with the little Easter theme, I decided to do my little bunnies, okay? So we're just gonna add this to the middle right here. And then this little thing, fits right inside here. Remember I told you it's going to be a little bit snug at first, but that's good because you don't want it um, you don't want it popping out at all. But after you put it in and out just a, a few times like this one, it just goes in and it comes out. It goes in and it comes out. So just kind of play with it for a little while. And anyway, that is our little project for today. It's a portfolio in a card. Isn't that cute? If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. You take care, have a great day, and thank you for stopping by.